Hello. In part 2 of this tutorial we learned how to create a small view application within an MVC application in Visual Studio. This tutorial will show you how to do the separation of concerns by splitting the code into multiple files. If you followed my first two parts of the tutorial you'll be able to continue with me. Let's open the index page and study the file. You will observe that we have three clear parts in there. The main view application, a template used by the main view object, a view component used by the main view application. Let's split them into separate files. Just to show that view is not dependent on MVC, let's create first in the root of the MVC project a new directory named view. This directory will contain all view-related objects, components, scripts, and CSS related to the view application. Create inside the view directory a directory named components. Create another one named content. Create a third one named main app. Create a fourth one named templates. Now that we have the structure that we need, we can start creating the files that will keep these separate parts. Create a new file named comp1 having an extension of type HTML. Cut to memory the first script tag from index page containing the view component and paste it to the comp1.html file. Create a new file inside the templates directory named main template onehtml and cut and paste the div tag from the index page. Create a third file inside the main app tag named main app oneml and copy and paste to this file the last script from index page containing the main view JavaScript object. At this moment we have all files that we need but we are missing a vital ingredient having the role of replacing the webpack. In part 4 I will show you the simple magic that will replace the webpack import and export statements.